In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. Pieces. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequence of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Do I have to hit snooze or can I be a good adult and just wake up? Now I'm gonna wait it out. You can't make me. You can't make me. Get up. Get up, lady. Ah, we have to be, we have to we have to snooze. Keep me clean. I still need a shower. So what kind of timetable? <laughs> I almost said timetable because uh, it immediately says that. Well, what's our time scale here? Is this the next day? Things certainly got dirty on this side of the room. So is this the next day or is this weeks later, days later? Since we had the vision of like, oh my god, the world's going to come to an end. We have around here. Aha! I am master of the audio. So, we need to go take a shower. Oh, right. We're in a shared area, so I have to deal with that in a group context. So where do I get my... Do I have to grab a towel from here? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Are we mocking people? Is that what's happening here? Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. I think she has sleep on the mind right now. Oh wait, I need to water my plant. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. We got a maintainer. It's gonna. It's gonna die on us. It's my. It's my. My primary. <laughs> this action will have consequences. This is my primary goal. Keep this plant watered through this entire playthrough, so that it survives all the way into episode five. It's my favorite character. It has to be. It has to keep, be kept safe. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Now I'm a real teenager. I just realized that because I'm playing this, this channel's getting pretty Square Enix dominated, isn't it? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. 
Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Not a lot going on there. Let's just work on showering here. I was thinking maybe I have to grab a towel. I was thinking I'd have to grab a towel and stuff like that, but maybe that's just already in the shower room because I don't think we have a shower right here. Let's take a look at the phone first because I would, I'd be a bad teenager if I didn't check my phone for messages. She did not reach the reach in the wrong direction and the right direction. Let's see here. How far back is this going? Oh, this this is the conversation with Max. All right. You there, hippie. What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass, and I need your help. Like when you t well, like when you told Step Dork it was your weed? But for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at Two Whales, my treat. Sold. It's good to have minions. Gotta bail, master. Break breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Oh, meet me at dinner at four in forty. I'll be there. Do not be late, or I'll or I'll know it's it, I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way. You are evil. Forty minutes or else. So there, that's gonna be our first goal, I assume, is to go meet up with with our friend there. Are these? Oh, these are all locations we can go to. And this is uh, let's see, we probably have another set of uh. Nope, this is all story type stuff. Let's move on for now. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Do I have a schedule to live on? Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. What day is it? October week two. What, what, I should check. Does it, does it say on my phone? Or something, what day it is? Uh, 10.08. Our date. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Nope, I have no idea what day it is. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, we do have shower supplies, okay. Oh, there they are, my bad. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Am I gonna hit the door and you're gonna say I have to go grab something else too? Let's check the drawer. Is there like a towel? Uh oh. Nope. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Is that a 2D image? Weird. Alright, let's go hit the shower. Courtney, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Victoria ranks pretty highly in the on the list of uh, babies that should have been drowned in a tub. So where do I find a shower? These look like people's rooms. There's a missing person missing persons poster for the uh, the person we're trying to find this whole time, because uh, Chloe's friend is gone, mysteriously missing. Ow! What is her issue with getting stuff thrown at her head all the time? She's really good at it. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh yeah, forgot about that. I have like special capabilities and shit. How do I stop him? Do I talk to her to do it? I can be like, hey. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. We're not gonna question this at all? Not even a little bit? That I'm magic? Alyssa, it's happened twice now. Why do you not question things around you? I, I Clearly I have superpowers. Okay, maybe not the best conclusion to draw right away, but still something weird going on there. Be alert on campus. Observe the following. I think I've seen this before. These are probably all listed on the wall before, just general stuff. So, sh oh wait, that's the bathroom. Is the shower in the bathroom? Looks like it's not, because I can't use the door. Juliet's room. What's that? Stella's room. Taylor's room. I can leave need to go there now. So that's not where the shower is? Can I get, can I, oh wait, is, is it in here? No, this is someone's room. Someone who likes to dance around. 
Is this weird that I'm walking into your room? Do you find that weird? I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. I'm just gonna awkwardly stare at you in your room. I hope you don't mind. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Yeah, I'm sure this will go over great. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Sounds like it was ex escalating pretty damn quickly there. Hmm. That's your entire reaction? That's not even, that's not even a reaction. Let's try to find... What's that? Paper ball? This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. And she's not going to react to that effect I'm going through her trash at all? Okay. Where the fuck is the shower? Where the fuck is the shower? Oh, there we go. Giant sign that says showers, though, standing right next to a second ago. So she's going over great. So we saw we we cut we had a cutaway to her crying in her room. Uh, we, there was rumors pe people were freaking out about her, and then uh, there was comments about a sex tape or something. And she's super religious and stuff like that. And it's 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 possible that she may have some really dark story going on, or I'm just connecting the dots between things that don't actually have to do with each other. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I think they want me to go in the shower due to that that subtle change in camera angle. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max.
She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Katesvid.com, really? Well, I have, a, I have a clear first priority. That blonde girl, the, whoever, whoever the other one is that's not as important, is named... Uh, I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. You better do other things too. Come on. Are we going- Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. That's what I was going for. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Ta-da! So if you use the faucet, the shower takes temp changes temperature. Is that really still a thing? I've like never really experienced that before, but maybe I just ha grew up with areas with specific uh, setups for that. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Ah. Otter power? I'm so not there. So, pretty much confirmed there. The exact the exact thing I was thinking of is that Kate has, a, has some sort of sex tape video going on. So she's gonna have a great week, or month, or year, slash getting kicked out of her family's house. Uh, let's go back to my place, get dressed, and look for... The book that Kate wanted, because that'll make everything better. It won't fix all the. It'll fix all of her problems, as we've seen. But uh, no sympathy for a long-haired blonde girl. Like, oh, oh, god damn it! <sighs> no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell, and I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Ah, uh, didn't I? Oh wait. Wait... Is this, uh... Is this Victoria, or is this the guy who uh, I tried to out? Because if it's them, then that makes sense. If it's Victoria, that's a really shitty move. I kind of I kind of helped you. I thought we helped, got a, felt a little better about it. But, uh, as far as the blonde girl next to Victoria goes that I'll never remember the name of, it's just shitty to be like, Oh no, don't treat me that way! But then, of course, uh, reinforce it whenever she treats other people terribly. It's like, if you're gonna encourage her to be terrible to other people, then you deserve it when she's terrible to you, too, in return. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Alright, so it's Nathan. So we, we actually might- we actually might be able to, I don't know, make Victoria be less bitchy over time. At least, at least she's not the one that did this. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Uh, I don't know. Disturbing stuff can be art, too. It's just your head with your eyes scratched out next to a goat head for dinner. I think it's beautiful. Put that away for start just to start off. Let's look for... This is the same thing we just looked at, right? Man, this could almost yeah. be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. So My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Is it on the bookshelf? Which I, where I should, which I should have checked first. I can't look at the bookshelf. Desk. We gotta find a book. Where's the book? Get. Let's. Might as well get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Mm -hmm. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Papers? Maybe it's in here? No book here. I need that book, goddammit. It's important for some reason. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Why would you put it back down? I don't want to add to her list of problems. Why would you put a paper back down? You silly person. Oops. Didn't skip back far enough, apparently. They made the, uh, controls for writing time surprisingly confusing with the number of different com buttons that are involved. Be gone, foul soft drink. There you go. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Oh, well, and by mine I now mean- Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. 
Of course, by As mine, I mean I not mine. I don't have to worry about being late anymore. I, I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. May have acted a little too fast there. All right, let's fight Kate's room. Let me guess, someone's going to be shitty right behind this door? No? I just felt like we were due for another interruption. Uh, keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. So that's clearly... I might as well just add that... Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. I mean, it, it is him. It's not, it's not anyone else. Who else would it be? The marks of Satan. Oh, high school and college people. Completely tolerable all the time. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. So what does Kate, what kind of room does Kate have? So it's a single person room up against the wall, cross over the bed, a mirror with a cloth over it, because apparently they don't want to look at themselves anymore, a drawing. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Just like this room. You could say, she, you, could, you could almost say that she paints to escape. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Alright, we're just taking all the people that get picked on and grouping them together. That'll help out. Just gonna casually take a picture of your rabbit. This isn't weird. Ignore the flash. I'm here to help, right? <laughs> just gonna casually walk into your room, look at things, take a picture of your pet. I'm, no, this isn't weird. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Nah, I've seen better. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Well, at least she was able to use nice cursive as she damned you and completely disowned you in your time of great distress. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Nothing says support like completely throwing somebody out whenever something goes wrong and just shunning them when they need help. That, those are candles. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hug, hugs and love, Pop. Just before or after whatever happened w with the tape. I, li I like. I almost want. I almost want to hope that it's after. Ouch! She left out amnation. Oh, that's the same one. I got mixed up. Whoops. Good lord! This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. That's what happens to I mean, that that's some religious inspiration right there. There's a lot of dark stuff in the Bible to adapt into that kind of context. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. Matthew... I don't know what to believe now. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. It's just, is that what she's seeking right now? Oh, she crossed this one out. Proverbs twenty one fifteen. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. She doesn't believe in justice right now, apparently. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Well, at least, like, two people are kind of half-smiling. Way to go, family. It's a great upbringing. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. I can't help but think that it's hard to be like that slightly off from putting it in the case. Like just putting it back in. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your, mo your father and I received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. 
please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame upon you or your family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so she's in a great place right now. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh, that's, that's not even porn. That's just... That's just a bunch of kissing. This is what this is all about? Come on, man. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. 